Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and the last time we left off, we ended right here at barometric pressure, looking at our station models, uh, going a little bit deeper, basically, how do we predict our weather? Uh, this section coming up is going to be where most students or most of you guys really falter. It's probably one of the harder parts of the station models. If you can get this, you're golden and you're good to go. There's not much, uh, it, there's not much harder than this as far as station models. What we're going to be looking at now is this section right here barometric pressure and our barometric trend. If you remember, we use our reference table to look at barometric pressure either in millibars or in inches of mercury. So already we can start doing some conversions, but then also, if you look, whenever we talked about millibars on the reference table, usually there was five numbers. Here, there's only three numbers. So we have to convert to what we would actually read it as, and then we can potentially convert that into inches of mercury. So there's a lot of conversions going on, and we're gonna have to sort through that. The same with the barometric trend right here. You can see that here it means one thing, and then if we look, it's got a whole host of other things that it actually, what it really means right here when we spell it all out. So let's get started with this. Okay, so here's, there are two rules that help us with barometric pressure. That remember, the barometric pressure is on the top right of our station model. And there are the two rules. The first one uh, is the dealing with this part right here. If the station model number is less than 500, we're going to add the number 10 in front of it and a decimal point between the last two numbers. So we have 196, just like we do in the example here. We had the 10 in front, 19.2. Six. So just in case we have 213, we would add a 10 in front. We would have our two, one, three, and then we'd have to add our decimal point right in between the last two numbers. So that's really 1,021.3 millibars. Okay, so that's if the number is below 500. If the station model number is more than 500, add a nine in front of it and a decimal point between the last two numbers. So the decimal point between the last two numbers is always the same. We're always gonna add that to how we're gonna read it. So if we have 678, which would look like this, we would add the nine in front and the decimal point between the last two numbers. Another example might be, let's do um, 713. So in this situation, we would add a nine in front. We'd have our seven, one, three. Decimal point between the last two numbers. And of course, that's millibars. So those are two examples for it. It's a little confusing. You need to remember the rule. Now this is if we were reading it off the station model. So if we see the 196, that really means 1019.6. So if we want, we could convert these station model numbers. So this is how they would appear. 320, and I'll do this first one with you. Remember, if it's below 500, we add a 10 in front. We have our 320, and decimal place goes here, and that's in millibars. We'll do one more together, it's zero. So we have this 168. So we have 168. Remember, we add the 10 in front. And our decimal point is between the last two. So, and that's in millibars. And these last two, I'm gonna leave you to do, but just follow the rules and that, and you should be fine. Now, sometimes we have to take the number that we're reading and put it onto a station model. So if we're making or using a map, and we have to fill in the information on it, we then need to sometimes put that information onto it. Now we can put 1,012.0 millibars onto the station model in the top right. It's gotta get converted. So now we work backwards. If there's a 10 in front, we get rid of it. We get rid of our decimal point. So this would become 120. And that's what's gonna go on our reference table. Same thing, we see a 10 in front, get rid of it rid of our decimal place, this would be 284. So remember, these are converting air pressures to station model format. The rest I'm gonna leave up to you.
One little hitch though, look at this last one. This is in inches. So that has to be converted over using the reference table to millibars, then to station model format. So just be careful with that last one. Now we're gonna look at our barometric trend. Barometric trend is the next spot down here. Right here. There's a lot to be said with the barometric trend. These are some numbers that are used before, symbols that are used before the number. A plus sign is a pressure higher than what it was three hours ago. A minus sign, the pressure is lower than what it was three hours ago. So that's the number that is used before, the symbol, sorry, that is used before the number. Then at the end of the number, you'll see the slashes. This is the pressure is rising steadily, the pressure falling steadily, and the pressure remains steady. That's a straight line. And sometimes you can have a combination where it goes up like this, or it may go like this. Okay, so we can have combinations of these symbols right here. So we can take a look at our barometric trend in a couple of different situations here. Okay, so that's our barometric trend. So it says the pressure's higher than what it was three hours ago, but how much higher? The pressure is 1.2 millibars higher than three hours ago. And it's rising. And that's what that one says. Notice that I put the decimal place 12 goes to 1.2 millibars. Your decimal place goes in between the two digits right here. Let's try a different one. So this one right here, this is 0.4 millibars lower than three hours ago and falling. So there's our barometric trends for both of these. I'm gonna leave you to do these last ones. Always convert your number. See if it's gonna be uh, higher or lower than it was three hours ago. Notice this one doesn't have it, so you don't need to worry about it, but this one does. And then state what is happening at the end with either your hyphen or these two right here, your two slashes. And that's it. That's it with barometric pressure and barometric trend. I'm going to stop here. We'll go into the last few different variables. And that's about it. Look forward to seeing you in the next screencast. Have a good one.